What is going on, all you Slexy Beasts out there? It's your boy Slaxers here, and I'm bringing you guys a Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire OU Wi Fi battle against Brett, otherwise known as Dropping Dracos. He is a, a member of the MPL, and I figured we might as well just have a free, you know, carefree little OU Wi Fi battle since we both know each other and um, all that good shit. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this battle. I'm bringing my Full Metal Alchemist um, theme team. That is pretty um, hyper-offensive, which is just the way I like to play, because I like quick octane battles. He's bringing a little bit of a bulky team, because he does have Pert, Porygon, and Chansey, which are really, um, which can be really bulky pokes in the right situation. So, yeah, looking at his team, if I can isolate his Pert and his Raikou, I can easily win. I'm most worried about the Raikou, because if that is a Scarfed variant, I'm fucked. So... Uh, let's go ahead and get into this battle. I am leading off with Tyranitar, expecting him to want to lead off with Nidoking. King. And, um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, he actually ends up leading off with Chansey, which is a little bit of a, of a of an annoyance because this thing is super annoying. I was expecting, like, a Thunder Wave off the bat. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. T-Tar is going to be Thunder Wave, and it's going to be annoying. But um, he actually ends up pulling a direct switch out into his Nidoking, King, which was really, really surprising for me. I'm guessing he wasn't expecting me to want to go for the offensive move the first turn, which is really risky for him, but I end up just setting up my Stealth Rocks because uh, he does have that Lottie on the field as well as the Raikou, and I want as much damage off on that thing as possible. As He ends up going for the Earthquake, showing that he has a physical set, and um, I'm like, all right, whatever, I have a Focus Sash, so I get to live that easily. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Earthquake because Tyranitar's attack is higher than his special attack, even when I have special attack um, investment. I figured I might as well just go for the, e uh, the Earthquake, and it doesn't kill so now he's gonna go for the earthquake and because of his life orb it's gonna end up killing him uh he told me that he actually runs some defense variants which i was like okay 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 and um i'm like all right whatever fine i gotta you know it's whatever it died it's, that's all that matters that's all that matters that's all that fucking matters so now he's gonna go into his pert and i figured it might as well that sands up i might as well go into my excadrill and go for the eq because nothing on his team besides latios appreciates that so he's gonna go and mega uh, mega evolve since a normal pert isn't ever seen these days and um he skipped leg day so i'm gonna go for the earthquake just to see how much damage this does and this does a hell of a lot of damage um i can tell that he is a, 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 a defensive investments he has some defensive investment but he actually ends up going for the power up punch which doesn't kill me which i was like all right power up punch doesn't have that high of um base attack so i'm gonna be able to get off some pretty good damage here now i go for the iron head expecting a switch into latios and kind of hoping that i get a medium to high roll so i can kill him and um yeah so i i, I um I end up killing off his pert now, so he's going to go into his Porygon, and um, Porygon's a little bit of an annoyance, but I figured I might as well just go for the EQ. Um, he ends up tracing my Sandstream, which is really scary, um, but I get to go for the, earth, uh, the Earthquake and or Iron Head, and I go for the Iron Head here, trying to get a flinch, so that way I can just EQ at the next turn, but he doesn't flinch and just goes for the Ice Beam, which is able to kill me, um, telling me that this thing is obviously bold, because it ate up that thing and swallowed it, swallowed um, call it Sasha Gray, it's swallowed. So anyways, I'm gonna go into Lust now, um, basically just to pressure this thing out with a high jump kick, and I know that the only thing that's able to take out his Chansey is this thing and or Gyarados, because my Gyarados does run Taunt, um, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the return, expecting a switch out into his Latios, but he ends up, doesn't, uh, you know, not going for that, instead going for the Recover, which sucks, because now this thing's a little bit more of a problem, but now he's gonna probably want to switch out, since he's gonna want to preserve this thing and not catch an HJK, but I make the misplay and just go for the HJK, figuring I might as well just get off as much damage as I possibly can, and, um... Even Latios doesn't appreciate this damage, as that does easily about half, and brings him down a little bit under that, uh, which lets me just take him out with a return the following turn. The only thing that wouldn't have been able to take him out is if I would have clicked Fake Out. So, um, either way, his Latios was dead. So, now he's going to go into his Raikou, which is kind of scary, because Raikou cannot die from an HJK at full health. It does about 88% max, so I'm going to be forced to switch out here. Um, which never is good with low bunny because if I have to switch low bunny back in, which is always terrible, but I know that he's either a Specs or a Scarfed variant, and by going into Mew, I'm able to tell what type of set he is. Seeing that damage, I see that he's obviously a Specs set, 
Um, I'm not the full Spadef Mew, but that damage tells me enough to the point where I'm easily able to just play around this thing now. So I'm going to go for the Brave Bird on my Talonflame, which is Choice Bandit, just to get off some pretty good damage and let my uh, low punny a be able to pick this thing off basically later on as um, that takes it down about underneath half, but since I can tell his bluff that he's not Scarfed, but instead Specs, I'm going to be able to take him out, and even if he wasn't uh, Specs, a, um, a Thunderbolt doesn't kill at um, at that range, so um, it does around 97%, so I'm going to go for the Fake Out here, just in case a, f a return happens to get like a Super Mega Ultra low roll, and um, I'm just going to go for the Power Up Punch here, because Power Up Punch lets me go ahead and Oko his Chansey with a High Jump Kick, which makes it G G unless I miss a High Jump Kick, which is basically all I'm really riding on. Is now he's going to go into his Porygon, and I'm like, alright, whatever, Porygon, fuck you, I'm just going to take this thing on. I'm just going to go HJK you, there's no issue there. And um, he traces my Scrappy, which is really scary, because now he can hit all of the zero ghost types on my team so i'm gonna go and a uh, high jump kick in which is gonna take out that porygon especially at plus one mega low pony just lets to go and uh get a little safe nice late game sweep in so now he's gonna go into his chancy because it's the last thing he has and this is gg so thank you so much for the uh for the battle brett thank you for appearing on the channel for my first battle there will be a lot more battles to come i promise you that and um, make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy this battle. Follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. And make sure to subscribe for some more Capture Car quality content and battles. So without further ado, guys, my name is Laxerus, and I'll see you guys later. Make sure to stay Slexy and hit that subscribe button. Peace.